I think that one of the reasons that Gorsuch may have uh, signed onto this opinion is because in, in certain parts of the majority opinion, he says that sexual orientation and gender identity are not the same as sex, but then he says repeatedly, you cannot engage in discrimination on the basis of a person's transgender or uh, status or because they're gay or lesbian without necessarily, right, uh, using sex, right? Um, so he, he, he draws this sort of distinction, but then he comes back repeatedly and says, but you cannot engage in discrimination on this basis, on the basis of uh, a person's gender identity or sexual orientation without necessarily uh, relying upon sex. The, the opinion is grounded in um, a biological distinction between uh, males and females. Um, and we can talk about Price Waterhouse and gender stereotyping theory as a basis for uh, this dis the, uh, for prohibiting discrimination on these bases uh, as well later. Uh, but I, I, I worry about the gender binary, right? Uh, that he seems to uh, buy into that gender is, is, is just this either or thing as opposed to a spectrum. I think that he is uh, exercising the judicial caution that we expect of a, of a Supreme Court, of a, of a Supreme Court justice. And he's trying not to take on more than he needs to in order to get to, to in order to solve the issue at hand, which, which is whether um, this is discrimination because of sex. I do think that, that it's an old way of thinking about sex. It's when you think about how long it has taken, like decades and decades for uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and queer people to have this uh, victory in employment, the movement for transgender rights is much more compressed than that. We understand there's a learning curve here, but it's based on this really kind of false separation that gender identity is something that's in someone's mind and that sex is something that is uh, in someone's genital area. And I, more and more, um, we're developing, you know, an understanding that there's something about gender identity that is hardwired into a trans person's brain and that that is inherently biological. Um, but I do think that it's going to, it's going to take time um, for public policy to respond to that. And for people who are non-binary, it is completely not an acceptable answer to say that lesbian, gay, bisexual, and binary trans people will have our rights now and we'll come back for you later because that's what the trans community was told by you know, the lesbian and gay movement well before they acknowledged that bisexual people existed. Um, but uh, that doesn't take away, that doesn't mean that we're not still engaging in important advocacy for non-binary people. And the legal interests are not always exactly the same for non-binary people and trans people who have a, a more um, binary uh, gender expression or presentation. Yeah, you know, I think that Gorsuch um, hints at the complicated nature, right, uh, of gender identity um, and sexual orientation when he says, and when he, he, he describes the party's competing arguments, right, uh, about what the term sex uh, includes with the employers basically saying it's just biological distinctions and the, the employer saying it's, it's basically biological distinctions and the employee saying that it's more capacious than that. And he says in the opinion, but because nothing in our approach to these cases turns on the outcome of the party's debate, right? Uh, and because the employees concede the point for argument's sake, uh, we proceed on the assumption that sex um, uh, signified what the employer suggests, referring only to biological distinctions between male and female. So he says nothing really turns on this distinction, right? Which leaves some space, right? right. Uh, for the development of a more uh, sophisticated analysis uh, of the sort that you're suggesting, I think, Ames. This decision opens up so many possibilities for advocacy within the LGBTQ movement. I think the breadth of the opinion, um, it, it, you know, really makes things seem possible that, that might not have seemed possible before Monday.